welcome back to another video. My name is Uzi, as you guys all know. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Just sniping on Detroit today, guys. Hopefully, gonna snipe a few people, get a few kills. Let's see if there's anyone in school. There's no one in school. Let's see if we can bring out this MP11. Let's get one kill. But anyway, guys, enough of that nonsense talking about the gameplay. I'm gonna talk about my topic for today, uh, which is going to be a cut com because you guys are watching it, but the topic for today is punching. Now when I say punching, you guys are probably like, what punching? What's that got anything to do with your topic that you're going to be talking about? It's not me punching anybody. It is actually the new me uh, melee mechanic within Black Ops 3 multiplayer that we felt uh, that we found out within the Gamescom live stream a couple of days ago. So what we know of so far about the melee system is that there's going to be no more panic knifing. So when in advanced warfare you punch someone, that's a panic knife and you get an insta kill. There's going to be no more insta kills. We know it is now a two shot kill when you are knifing. If you guys haven't checked out the video I made about panic knifing, make sure to go check that out on my channel. Yeah guys, as I said, there's going to be no panic knifing and a lot of people were very, very shocked about that. But David Hunvaha released some new information at the Gamescom live stream interview that he was put through. So, another thing I forgot to mention was what you do is instead of punching people or knifing people in a one shot kill, you actually use the butt of your gun and you kill them uh, that way. So, you hit them once with the butt of your gun and that will stun the uh, enemy and then if you hit them a second time with the butt of your gun that will actually kill the enemy or you can just shoot them the normal way but if you hit them once it'll actually stun them there's no more insta kill like I said. As I said during this interview Dave Vonderhard had there is actually a new mechanism for this melee system. You switch to your secondary weapon. You guys know within the past Call of Duties if you guys switch to your secondary weapon within the past Call of Duties what happens is you switch to your combat knife and that's always been like that and that's also can kill people in one shot now what's going to happen now once you equip your secondary uh, once you swap to your secondary weapon sorry if you have nothing equipped you're actually going to swap to your fists now you guys are probably like your fists yes look at this picture on screen right now As you can see, the guy is using his fist while running towards this objective in this competitive game that was live streamed. And it's very, very weird and it's interesting to see, but hopefully it's a really, really good feature. And this is different because it actually takes two shots to uh, kill people when you have your two fists out, just like it would be uh, if you had your primary weapon out using the butt of your gun, the insta-kill uh, panic knife has been taken out completely. But yeah guys, it's going to be interesting what sort of custom games people <laughs> come up with because there might be like an all-in brawl custom game thing where everyone just runs around with their fists out and <laughs> it's going to be like a just all-in melee thing like a hotel brawl or something because everyone's going to take two shots to kill. And it's going to be very, very fun because some people might increase their health and it might take longer to kill people. We're not too sure how it's going to work and I'm going to bring you guys as much information as I can for Black Ops 3 so you guys are all informed. Another interesting thing though guys that I'm going to mention is that with the combat knife, you guys are probably wondering where the combat knife went and exactly where it went was in Crater class. So now... If you have your combat knife not equipped, you actually have to go into creator class and you have to equip it yourself. So you have to waste a creator class slot on the combat knife. So if you guys think when you're playing the game and your style of gameplay, you bring out your knife a lot, then equip the combat knife. But if you don't, then there's really no point because you're basically just wasting a, a creator class slot, sorry that could be used on something very important like an extra attachment that might win you a gunfight such as quick draw or extender mags if you are a little bit of not the best of aim and you need to fire a few more shots than normal at people 
then you can use extender mags instead of equipping a combat knife. But if if you equip the combat knife, guys, it will be a one-shot kill. So if you run up to people and knife them, it will be a one-shot kill within Black Ops 3. But it's just your choice, guys, because if you equip the combat knife, of course, you lose a slot for your attachments or your perks so it's a very very hard choice but it's solely up to you guys whatever you guys want to do with your classes it's all up to you but yeah I have a picture on screen of the panic knife now so that's the panic knife within its class set uh, it's just it's very interesting to see the panic knife in a class set you I think that's the first time they've ever done that within a Call of Duty and I hope it works. I hope this two punching mechanism should be good. Hopefully uh, the panic knifing is not missed because I know I did use it a bit within Advanced Warfare Multiplayer as well. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, panic knifing thing and how they're taking this with Black Ops 3. I believe it's very very cool and really really good uh, mature way of dealing with this panic knifing because uh, in advanced warfare it was very very annoying I can count the number of times I got panic knifed in stupid ways but hopefully this isn't going to be too bad of an idea and it actually works out quite well I'm just a bit worried how it's gonna work in the competitive scene like people running around um, punching each other and stuff and it's gonna take a while for people to kill each other but hopefully it all works out. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this two hit punch uh, thing or using the butt of your gun and also the knife being in the creator class slot instead of being your actual secondary weapon. Let me know down in the comments below guys what you think about this. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. All your support on this video helps me out and I appreciate everything you guys do while watching the video. Thank you guys for watching, we are about to lose the game. But yeah guys, we lost the game, but if you guys enjoyed it, do everything you can to support the video. And as always guys, this has been Wizzy, I'll catch you guys in my next Between game. Between the guns, it won't be like the SWAT and the M8 where there was no difference at all. Uh, they'll actually think they're going to be very, very close in what their skill level is going to be like. Now the next gun is the Razor.